Hello, civil engineers. Welcome back to the lecture. So once we are done with that, the next activity or the next what we are supposed to do is a stir up for the beam, right? We have provided a lot of stir up. See, you can see one, two, all these are much stir up. In the column, we call it as lateral ties. And I told in the beam, we call it as stir up. We need to find how many stir ups we require, cutting length of the stir up and all. So if that how we are going to do. For that, in the drawing, they have clearly mentioned you all these things. So if I take this, see, uh, you see here first thing, this thing I'll copy from here. Okay, control C. I think I should paste it here. Control V. Yeah. Okay. Fine. See. So what is mentioned here? They have written that here up to S1, you have to provide a stirrup. S1 means you have to provide a 8 diameter at 100 mm center to center spacing. And from here to here also, it is S1, which is 8 dia 100 mm center to center. And in the center, we know it is S2, which is 8 diet, 150 center to center spacing. We have told you all the reason for that. Now we need to find all these things. So first what we'll do, this entire thing is our beam. Agree with me? This entire thing is our beam. Up to here is our beam. So first I'll find only for the S1 portion. What I'll do? I'll find only for the S1 portion. So this is my S1. Here I want to find. This is also S1 portion. Here also I'll find. Here also it is S1. Here also it is S1. So can you find the length of this? Obviously you can find 800 plus 800 plus 800 plus 800. So 800 four times, 8 fours are 32. So it will be 3200 mm. So it will be how much? 3200 mm. Fine. So I got the total length of that. And it is mentioned that what is the center to center spacing? So the center to center spacing is 100 mm. So obviously 3200, if I divide it by center to center spacing of 100, I'm going to get 32 number. So I need to provide 32 number of stirrup in this S1 zone. Okay, S1, 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 S1. This much is understood. Now coming to the stirrup uh, cutting length. Stirrup cutting length like we did it in the column. Column it was like this. Stirrup it will be vertical. That's it. So what is the size of your beam? So it is already mentioned. The size of your beam is 300 by 400. Now tell me quickly, how do you find the cutting length of this which you already done it? Okay. Uh, anyhow, I'll explain it on the Excel sheet. You know that. I'll go back. See, just look at the size. The size of your beam. It is 300 is a breadth. 400 is a depth of it. Okay. This much is clear. No, I'll go directly to the Excel sheet. I've prepared. I've written beam size, which is 300 by 400. So how you find this cutting length? So this is 300. From 300, you take out 25 mm. Now here it is 25. In column, we used to take 40 mm because it was a column lateral dice. Right now we are doing it for the beam and the beam clear cover is 25 mm. So what I've done, I'll do it here only. Okay plus 300 overall length minus 25 mm on the left side this one minus minus uh, 25 mm on the right minus 25 mm on the right side minus 25 mm on the right side minus what you need to do you need to uh, exactly detect the diameter of the stirrup because we are taking the length from center of the stirrup to the center of the stirrup so minus half stir up from here, minus half stir up from here, which is a complete stir up and the stir up diameter is 8 mm, which is given in the drawing. So I'll do minus 8 and enter finish. How much I got? How much did I get? 242. And what did I write here? Same 242. So if this is 242, obviously this is also 242. So I've interlinked this. This I've interlinked with this. Now come to the depth part. So what is the depth? So your depth is 400. So how do you find again? Plus 350, sorry, uh, 400. Okay, minus top 25 mm cover, minus bottom 25 mm cover, minus diameter of one stirrup, which is 8 mm. Enter, finish. 342. Oh, why it is 3? Okay. Uh, 400. Then why it is 342? I should have got the right answer. No? Okay, see so here one mistake happened. Okay, minus 8 mm. Yeah, now it is correct. See, I got 342. Here also I got 342, uh, 342 and this is 242, this is 242. Got it? Finish. Now you know one more thing, this hook length. Hook length according to the code book it is 24 times the diameter of the bar. So 24 into 8 if you do, you will get the hook length and if you add everything, you will get the total cutting length of the stirrup which I already explained there. Fine. So now in the excel sheet what you are supposed to do, in the excel sheet you have to write stirrups in S1 portion from grid A1 to so. I have written stirrups in S1 portion because this is the S1 portion. This is S1 portion. So I'm looking for a S1 portion only right now. So I've written stirrup in S1 portion from grid 
at A1 to C1. How many members are there? Only one member. What is the diameter of your stirrup? 8 mm. That is mentioned here. It is a 8 diameter. Finish. I have written 8 here. Okay. What is the spacing? Spacing is written 100 mm. So it is mentioned 100. So I am taking 100 mm. Fine. Now coming to the number of bar. How do you find the number of bar? It's very simple. We found that length, no? 800 plus 800 plus 800, 800 was 3200. 3200 divided by 100, I'll get 32 number of bar. Now I'm getting 33 here. Why? I added plus one. Now you have one option. One option. See, I'll tell you. Don't get confused here. Whenever you're finding number of stirrup, here it is divided into two zones. One is your S1 spacing. One is your S1 spacing. This is S1. The second one is your, which one? S2 spacing. Now this plus one, you have to add only one time. Whether you add it in S1 or whether you add it in S2, doesn't matter. It's okay. Here I've added in S1. So when I do the S2 calculation, I will not add plus one there. Otherwise, you don't add in S1, you add in S2. It's totally up to you. But what I've done, I've added it in S1 portion. So you can see plus one. I'll show you the S2 portion also. See, in S2 portion, I did not add plus one because already I've added in S1 portion. So it's totally up to you whether you want to add it in S1 or S2. But you should not add it in both because if you remember, whenever we, we used to find the number of bar, what we used to do, we used to say plus one, no. So that is why plus one we have to do. Either you do in the first zone, that is uh, this one, uh, S1 or S2 zone. This is understood. Number of bar also you understood. 3,200 3, 3, divided by 100 plus one I did, I got 33. Now come to the cutting length. So cutting length will be how much? 242 plus 342 plus 242 plus 342 plus 24 into diameter of the bar. Why? This hook length we have seen already. If you are still not able to understand, go back to my column lecture. There I have shown you with the help of a code book where it is written 24. Again, don't ask me. Still, if you have doubt, you WhatsApp me, I'll explain you. So 24 into diameter is 8 mm. So 24 into 8 will give me this answer. You try to find it, it will be 1360 mm. So I got the total cutting length. Now I'll put this in meters. So 1360 divided by 1000 will give me 1.36 meter. Now total cutting length, cutting length of one stirrup multiplied by number of bar into number of member will give me the total cutting length. So that is what I have done. 1.36 into uh, 33 into 1 will give me how much? 44.88 meter. So this I need to put in weight. So I'm looking for 8 mm bar. So the weight will be 44 point. So how much is this? 44.88 multiply by 8 will give me sorry uh, 44.8 multiply by unit weight of 8 is how much 0 0.395 so it will give me 17.728 meter sorry 17.728 kg done now come to the stirrup in s2 portion so again s1 and s2 portion your cutting length and all everything remains same nothing will change only that number of stirrup will change so again this is one diameter is also 8 spacing also will change spacing they have mentioned 8 150 and 8 diameter so I've written 150, I've written 8 here. Okay, now come to the number of bar. So now to find the number of bar, it is a bit tricky. Why it is tricky? The reason is these people have not given us what is the length from this portion to this portion. Can you see, is there any length given? No, they haven't given. These people haven't given any length from here to here. So if I want to find this length, uh, what we need to do is we need to do a small cal. See, if you're doing an AutoCAD, it's very simple. I'm showing you through a PDF, so it will take your manual calculation. But uh, if we have, if you had AutoCAD drawing of this, no, I'll show you that also. Just in case if I had AutoCAD drawing for this, directly I could have come here and directly what I would have done, I'll directly would have taken measurement from here. Okay. Like here, you see, these people have given, uh, uh, yeah, these people have given up to here and up to here. The center portion I want to measure with the AutoCAD, I would have done. But right now, like here, you see, exactly. See here, this is uh, 2250, it will go, your stir up S1 portion. From here also 2250 your stirrup will go. What you do, just come here, take the dimension option. You di take the dimension from here to your finish. 225, 2224, that's it. This will be your center portion. But luckily, I mean, uh, unfortunately, in the PDF drawing that is not given. Anyhow, uh, in the site, when you work, you'll get such drawings only. You, have to, you should know manual calculation also. So I'm teaching you this. So what we'll do, very simple. Nothing. I know like this length I know. This length I know, center to center. This is how much? 5525. Okay. Again, this also I know, 5125. So first, what I'll do, I'll take center to center distance. And from here, I'll deduct this uh, column. From here, I'll deduct the full column. 
from here i'll detect the column in this way i'll get the clear span and from there i'll detect 800 from the left side 800 from the right side if i do i'll get the center okay i'll do for this so this how much i'll get 5525 i'll write here 5525 minus see i'll detect half this column half column if i take it out this half column if i take this half column if i deduct from the center will i not get that distance now from inner to inner of the column from this column inner to this column inner i get so this is 250 from the right side 250 on the left side okay i'll do that wait yeah minus 250 from the left side minus 250 from the right side minus already we re we require the center portion no this 800 already we have calculated from the left side right side 800 is also calculated so minus that minus 800 on the left side minus 800 on the right side now you do this calculation tell me how much answer you are getting so i'll do it 5525 minus 250 uh, then minus 250 minus 800 and minus 800 i'm getting 3425 so this is 3425 mm okay that's it so this is your center length this 3425 whatever you got no this is 3425 the center portion is 3425 so here i have found similarly here i need to find again here also what is happening the center to center is 5125 so again 5125 minus this is 250 half of the column this is 250 i'll deduct from here i'll deduct 250 i'll come from column inner to inner okay and then I'll deduct this 800 from here and I'll deduct 800 from here. I'll get this center. Got it now? So 5125 uh, minus 250 from the left side, minus 250 from the right side, minus 800 from the left side, minus 800 from the right side. So tell me how much you'll get. So it will be 5125 minus 500 I'll do minus 1600. So 3025 I'm getting 3025. So this length is 3025. Two five. Okay. Now add both of them and then divide by spacing. You'll get the number of bar. So I'll add now that is three, four, two, five on the left side. This one, this one, and this is three, zero, two, five. So three, zero, two, five plus three, four, two, five. So it is six, four, five, zero. Okay. Now you got that span. This is what I wanted. Now six, four, five, zero. What is the spacing? It is one fifty divided by one fifty. So this you divide by one fifty. I'm getting 43 number. 43 numbers of stirrup is required. Should I add one here? No. Should I add one here? No. Why? Already in S1 portion I've added. So I'll not add here. If you are not added in S1 portion, you could have added it here. But since we added, we'll not add it. Understood the manual calculation? Go back to the Excel. I got 43, no manual calculation. I got how much? 43? Same in the Excel sheet. Already I got 43. So in the Excel sheet, you just input that. I don't know all this calculation. Now you know 5525, five, center to center, minus 250 on the right side. Sorry, minus 250 on the left side, minus 250 on the right side, minus 800 from the left side, minus 800 from the right side. So one span I did. Come to the second span. So the clear center to center is 5125, minus 250 on the left side, minus 250 on the right side, minus 800 on the left side, minus 800 on the right side. Finish. This answer I'm dividing by spacing. That is 150. Okay, divide by open bracket, say 150. And if you do this, no, I'm not adding plus one. That's it. 43 you got. Understood finish just in case here if you had not added plus one just in case if you had not added plus one in that case you add plus one here it's totally up to you finish okay that's it okay you keep it uh, let me keep it here only i explain you for both so what is the total cutting length very simple i mean yeah so the total cutting length is again same whatever cutting length you got in s1 portion no same you'll get here that is why i interlink this if you don't want to do that again you calculate 242 342 242 342 plus 24 into d you get the same answer cutting length also remains the same now coming to the total cutting length. total cutting length will be cutting length of one bar 1.36 multiply by 44 into 1 will give me the total cutting length and since it's a 8 diameter bar i'll put the weight in the 8 diameter column so what is my total cutting length my total cutting length is 59.84 so 59.84 multiply by 0 0.395 will give me 23.67 kg that's it finished now i finished entire beam bar bending schedule now if you ask me sir what is the total steel that is required i'll calculate the total steel and individual i'll not do total i'll tell you uh, including 8 diameter 10 everything i'll tell 23.67 plus 17.170 plus this one plus 
this one one two three four five no plus this one five added three four five yeah plus this one plus this one plus this one oh wait wait i think one small mistake we did uh not mistake actually not mistake actually uh i think you know i was explaining you with this uh column actually i should have explained for this i should have explained for this yeah so everything is correct everything is correct uh what i did no inst instead of explaining on the above excel sheet i explained for this and i'll change it no no changes will happen same thing okay uh, only changes this uh, 33 i'll take it out okay and that i'll add here okay because that is what i did there in front of you finish 17.393 and 23 i'd got uh i think same answer we got here no yeah 17 and 23 same thing we got correct no problem yeah now i'll count it okay so you just have to be very careful when you prepare excel sheet since there are a lot of calculations so this one plus 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 this one that's it finish no all all thing i added enter so 302 kg of a steel is required in just one beam okay 302 kg of a steel is required in this way you are supposed to do the bar bending schedule so one beam i've explained you completely rest all beams are very similar to that only the thing is in some your top left extra will come in some top extra will not come in some what will happen bottom only one straight bar will come here what happened bottom we got two no bottom you got 20 separately 16 separately some drawing you get only bottom one bar you may get top two different here we got top only one 20 25 dia. there may be a beam where you get top uh, 25 one and 20 another one okay so only that changes will happen rest the way of doing the calculation remains the same nothing change will happen so try to practice this in the next lecture in the next lecture i'll go with all other beams i'll quickly go through the beams and explain you how it has to be done all things i've kept it ready and just in one lecture, I'll take out, uh, in one lecture, I'll explain you all these things, how it has to be done. Rest you how to do, okay? Because everything is very same, very similar to that, okay? Uh, we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.